Recently, I got asked a question about how to turn on shuffle mode editing in Cubase. And shuffle mode editing is one of several different snap types. And I figured it's a good opportunity to discuss the differences between snap types. Snap can be turned on by enabling this icon here or by hitting the letter J on your computer keyboard. Snap allows you to align elements to the grid or to other parts for simplified editing. The snap will be often tied to the primary time display. So I have it set currently to bars and beats. Then I could have different grid types where I could choose it to snap to bar, beat, or the quantized value. If I right click in my master primary display for time, I could switch it to seconds. I could see different snap values and grid types there going down to one millisecond. And the same for time code, I have different frames, you know, half frame, quarter frame, or if we wanted to even do samples, we could do that. I'm gonna switch it to bars and beats. And then I want it to be selected to bar. So now we're gonna go to our first snap type will be grid. And what grid will allow us to do is I have it set to bar and as I move an event, the beginning of that event will automatically just snap directly to the measure. If I have this set to beat, we can now just automatically have it snapped to the beat for easy placement. Now you may not want the beginning of the event to actually be the snap point. So if I select this event, I could look at it in the sample editor and we could click on this icon here, which is show audio event. And once that is enabled at the far left, you'll see this little S line. You could drag this over and this will now be the snap point. So as I have my snap and I have it set to grid and we have it to bar, as I move this event, it's gonna snap to this portion, so not the beginning of the file, but just to my defined snap point. So it makes it very simple to place that. We also have another type is gonna be our grid relative. So let's say if I have an event that's slightly before the beat here, and then I'm gonna turn on snap and we're gonna select grid relative. So even though that this is slightly before the beat or the bar, now when I move it, it'll still place it with that relative amount of space between the where it was before, but still move the whole event in the interval of a bar or your grid type that you have selected here. The next one would be events. So this way, if I wanted to snap this event to that event, I just drag it over and now those will just line right up so I'm not gonna have any space between those two events. So we could just take the beginning of the event or the snap point, move it, and we could just have it automatically lock to that particular event. Moving on is when we get to the genesis of our question, shuffle mode. And what shuffle mode will allow you to do is, let's say I just wanted to flip the order of these two files. So I want this file to move to the, this beginning space and this file to automatically go to the end. So once shuffle mode is turned on, it's not really tied so much to the grid, but to the events. I'm gonna just drag this over to the beginning. And as soon as I let go, those two events will switch in space. So again, if I take this red event here and drag this over and just place it at the beginning, those two events will kind of swap positions. So that's a, a common editing technique that a lot of people will use for that. Now there's also magnetic cursor. So let's say if I enable magnetic cursor and my cursor is right here and this is at a significant point for like a film project or a film queue, I can now just place the event and have the event not just snap to the bar line, but snap directly to where my playhead cursor is at. So if I move my cursor here, I can move this event here, let's say my cursor, and I want it to move the beginning of this event, it'll just snap directly to where that cursor is at the beginning or at the end of the file. 
Now we could also have different types of combinations of events. So if I wanted this event to snap to the grid, and let's say I have this set to bar or to the cursor, that way this event can snap in two different, a combination of modes to grid plus cursor. And we could also do events to cursor. So if I wanted this event to snap directly to the cursor there, or snap to the event, or another combination is grid plus events plus cursor. So this way I could snap to the bar, to the cursor, or to the event, just like that. So you can see that there's several different types of snap modes. So you have grid, grid relative, events, shuffle, magnetic cursor, and then several different combinations where you have grid plus cursor, events plus cursor, or snap plus events. And again, snap would just have to be enabled for all those to take effect. So just any type of positioning and snapping events to each other relatively, snapping to the grid, an offset to the grid, different snap types in Cubase can really simplify the process. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.